365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Zavala. Come join us. Let's see what God has in store for you. Hello, friends. We're so glad that you joined us today, Thursday, March 10th, 2022. The title for today's devotional is The Lord Will Provide. Please join me for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we invite your Holy Spirit to be with us in this moment as we hear today's devotional. We ask that you speak to our hearts and that you give us courage for this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is found in the book of Genesis, chapter 22, verses 13 and 14. And they say, Then Abraham lifted his eyes and looked, and there behind him was a ram caught in the ticket by its horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it for a burnt offering instead of his son. And Abraham called the place, The Lord will provide. If you had to give a name to the worst experience of your life, what would you call it? Abraham faced that exact situation. God had asked him to go to the land of Moria and there offer Isaac, his only son, as a holocaust. When the old patriarch, holding a knife in his hand, was ready to carry out the order, the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven with a counter man. Do not lay your hand on the lad or do anything to him, for now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. Genesis 22, 12. The scriptures say that when Abraham lifted his eyes, there behind him was a ram caught in a thicket by its horn. Then Abraham took the ram and offered it up for a burnt offering instead of his son. After that, in his joy and gratitude, Abraham gave a new name to the sacred spot. Patriarchs and Prophets, chapter 13, page 153. What was the name? Jehovah Jireh. That is, the Lord will provide. Here is a beautiful spiritual lesson for us. For three days, Abraham had been subjected to a test that was too hard to put into words. For three days, his mind must have been the stage of true battle between the most desperate thought. Nevertheless, what name did he choose to use to baptize that mount where he almost sacrificed his only son? He did not call it Mount of My Agony or Mount of My Trial or anything that reminded him of his ordeal. He called it God Will Provide. By giving it that name, Alexander McLaren writes, Abraham did not want his great trial or his great agony or even his obedience to be remembered. No, he only wanted to leave a reminder for posterity of what God in his great mercy had done in his favor. Right now, can you remember a very difficult trial you had to go through? You probably can. What name would you give it? My Gethsemane? My Calvary? Never. Give it a name that will remind you not of the bad things that happened, but of how God was with you. A name that, even in the midst of your biggest trials, remind you of the great truth that God will always provide. Bread to meet your needs, a roof to shelter you, a way out of your hardship. Join me for a closing prayer. Heavenly Father, today I want to praise your name because you are and always will be my great provider. And because the bigger my trials are, the bigger your mercy is. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for the devotional. We pray that God blesses you, that his love embraces you, and may you walk confidently today that the Lord will provide for whatever situation you're going through. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Bye.